Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to install SQL Server Data Tools, so which is useful for working on SSIS, SSIS, and SSRS, right? So before we install this SQL Server Data Tools, you should have already installed SQL Server Database Engine and also SQL Server Management Studio that I have explained in the same, uh, in another video, how to install SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. So, so let me open Notepad and I'll show you. So before you install this SQL Server Data Tools, you should have already installed SQL Server Database Engine and also SQL Server Management Studio. Management Studio that I have explained in the in other video, right? In the same YouTube channel. So you can see a video on uh, installing SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. So before you proceed to the next steps in this video, you please go through that and complete the installation of SQL Server Developer and Management Studio. Now, now what we will do now is, so to install uh, SQL Server Data Tools, all we can do is, I, I will open Google Chrome and let me search for SQL Server Data Tools for, SQL Server Data Tools for SQL Server 2016 developer edition. So I'm searching for SQL Server Data Tools. Now uh, now let me click on this. See here now you can see SQL Server Data Tools in Visual Studio. So let me click on this. Because this SQL Server Data Tools uh, is, is like templates that are added, that will be added for in case if you already have Visual Studio installed. So this SQL Server Data Tools will be added to your Visual Studio. In case if you don't have it, that will do a shell installation. So where you'll only have the projects that are required for creating this uh, SSIS, SSRS, and SSS, SSAS, right? So what we'll do now, I'm going to click on this SQL Server Data Tools in Visual Studio 2015. Let me click on this. And you will see here, so download SQL Server Data Tools. So you will, you will see here, so Microsoft is telling that we recommend installing Visual Studio prior to applying this update. Installing this update will replace SSDT RTM in Visual Studio 2015 with the latest version. That's fine. Even if you don't have Visual Studio, so SSDT will install uh, integrated shell and Visual Studio 2015 isolated shell. So with the limited features using which you can only create MSBI projects, right? That's fine for us. So I already have Visual Studio installed in my system. So in case if you already have it 2015, it's fine. In case if you don't have it, even then it's fine. You can download and install this. So let me click on this. Now you can see here SSDS setup. Uh, we can actually go for an offline installer as well. So let's see if we can find an offline installer. So see here now, uh, you, when you scroll down a little bit, you will find here, download SSDT as an ISO image file. That's good. So if you download this, you can, you can install it offline. So I will be clicking on, uh, I'll be clicking on this. So English United States, I'll click on this. So once I click on this, so it will go to that page and uh, see here the download started. It's almost around uh, 1000 MB. So I will download it and I will take you to there. So here I just downloaded it as SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. And you can see the size of this is uh, whatever we have seen in the previous page, which is uh, 0.98 MB. So what I'll do now is I will right click on this. So this is an ISO file. You can see here disk image file. So right click on this, you can select using 7-zip software, you can extract it. In case if you don't have 7-zip software, please download and install it. And once you download and install 7-zip software, you can extract the files here. So let me extract this. So again, it'll take a while for extraction. So it'll take around uh, two to three seconds. So it's a bit faster. Okay, almost done. Excellent, so the extraction is done. So once the extraction is done, you can click on this, and now you can see here there is SSDT, SSDT setup. So now, uh, in case if you have opened Visual Studio, if you have Visual Studio, please do close it, and you can right click on this, run as administrator. And uh, click on yes, and now you can see here, so SQL Server uh, database is already there in my system, so that's grayed out now. And uh, I need to install AS, RS, and IS, click on next accept, install. So this will take a while. This will download some softwares and uh, that is required. And uh, yeah, and start the installation process. The installation is halfway through. 
Okay, the installation is about to complete. So almost there. You can see that the setup is successful. So SQL Server Data Tools is installed. So let me close this. So now you can see here, so let me uh, click on start and type here SQL Server Data Tools. So you can see here SQL Server Data Tools and let me click on this. So from here you can see this uh, SQL Server Data Tools as I open this. So for the first time it will be a bit slow and it's taking some time. Okay, so all done. So you can create your new project and you can work on this. So let me click on file and you can select new project and you can select their file new project and you can get started with your SSIS first project. As I told you for the first time it will take a uh, more time to load. So you can see here, so there is an option for business intelligence and you can see here SSAS, SSIS and SSRS projects. So you can create these projects and you can work on. So hope this is useful. Thank you and do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a great day.